everyone welcome back to my channel this is Krubo and I am back with another video this video is gonna be all about how I was able to get my patho grade from a 57 to an 86.5 in the class so I'm gonna be giving you guys five tips on how I successfully dug myself out of this huge hole that I created for myself so getting right into the video um Honestly, starting the program, I just was not quite sure on my studying habits, what I'm good at, what I'm not good at, what I can put up with, what I can't put up with as far as studying goes. So going right into it, I literally was doing the wrong strategy. I was studying the wrong things, reading the wrong things, reading the wrong way, doing everything just so incorrectly. So, and already I kind of started off on a bad foot because Starting school, our very first week of school, we didn't. We ended up not going to school. Second week, we ended up not going because I do live in Houston and we were affected by Hurricane Harvey. So that kind of like threw everything off. So going back to school it was kind of like a, and you have to like force yourself back into school mode type of thing. So that just kind of like just threw me all the way off as far as everything goes. My very first test, I just totally did not do well. Like. If you read the title, you read that correctly. I score a 57 on my very first nursing school test. Yeah, I did. <laughs> so, my very first tip would be, do not read everything out of the book word for word. And if you're telling me, but we know that already. Yeah, I just, I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought I could literally sit there and read this entire textbook word for word and that was totally incorrect. First of all, let me just show you guys how large this book is. So this is the big O. This is my textbook that I literally thought I could read word for word. And I know some of you guys may be thinking, well, it's kind of not that bad. It's not that thick, blah, blah, blah. But it does have a lot of information. So me sitting there and reading word for word did, just didn't, it just didn't work out because I would get distracted. I'll start I'll be reading taking notes and I'll just go and do something else I could never finish a chapter that's the thing and even if I did finish a chapter I could not even go back be able to go back and say this this and this and this because at that point my brain would just be fried and I'll be bored and yeah so my number one tip would be do not read out of the textbook word for word Reading out of the textbook word for word will not get you the grades that you want because it's impossible to do. It is totally impossible to do. I personally feel like, like I said, these are my secrets. These are my opinions. These are, this is basically how I was able to get out of the situation that I was in. So, um, and I know if you're thinking, well, from a 57 to an 87 or to an 86.5 uh, how did that work out so because of the whole Hurricane Harvey thing that happened and it affected all of us majority of the people in our program so our very first semester um, they were kind of like understanding as far as that goes because our exam one average was completely terrible the faculty kind of understood where everyone was coming from because our exam one test score was completely trash mind you this was like two weeks into school and people were just not into it at all just yet and not saying that we use that as like an excuse the hurricane happening and whatnot it was just like an unfortunate situation so I guess the faculty kind of like felt bad and they kind of understood where students are coming from so they went ahead and gave us a second chance to retake the test of course it wasn't the same answers or the same questions I wish they were but it was kind of like a little helper thing just showing that they understood where we were coming from and luckily for me when we were retested I was able to like sit down and study and focus so yeah, that's how I was able to get over that hump. My second tip would definitely be to get you a study guide. I cannot stress this enough. Get you a study guide of the book that you are studying. Get you a study guide of which whatsoever your patho book is. Make sure to get you a study guide. The study guide that I used was this one right here. Do you guys see the difference in pages? Yeah. 
this one is like way thinner and it's way cheaper so if you are from Texas you can locate a half price bookstore if you're not go to any discount bookstores where you can get used books for cheap or eBay Amazon wheresoever you need to go get you a study guide I cannot stress this enough how much this particular study guide this study guide it changed my life so much easier so convenient so it's just so much better but this thing gets you straight to the point of what you're looking for what you need to understand now and signs and symptoms everything this thing right here got you covered and i'm telling you it was only 7.99 yeah that's correct i literally paid seven well i didn't pay for this book my friend bought it for me it was 7.99 and it just changed my life forever and third thing that i have for you guys i will say definitely record lectures y'all i can't stress this enough recording lectures if you're like me i love to listen to videos i like to watch youtube videos i like to well actually i'm gonna get into that later but yeah record your lectures so that way you can be able to come back and listen to it anything that you didn't get when you're going through your notes you're able to replay that lecture and listen to it and for me my teacher my professor her voice is pretty distinct that if i just listen to her lectures over and over and over and i see the test question it's like her voice is playing in my head in like a weird way which is good because it helps you select the correct answer so yeah a record lectures recording lectures is very important and i can show you guys like how much of a lecture recorder i am <laughs> have only if you have storage on your phone if you don't you can always buy a recorder from Amazon or eBay Target Walmart just to record your lectures because it's so important when you're in your car on your way to class you can always listen to it you can play it back you can do whatever in class you can only ask so many questions but with your lectures you can always you know listen listen if you if you didn't get it the first time you can go back listen to it again and you'll get it so yeah, that would be my third thing. Fourth thing is watch a lot of videos. I have a couple of favorites on here on YouTube that videos that really, 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 really help me. The very first person, David Woodruff, his videos are amazing. His videos on understanding concepts of the disease process is amazing. I'm going to go ahead and try to like link down his um channel down in my description box so be sure to look out for that and also i like uh michael lanier simple nursing yeah, um register nurse rn um who else do i listen to i think that's about it if i can remember anybody else while i'm editing this video i'm definitely gonna link it down in the description box but yeah watching videos is so important because for me i'm fortunate enough that my powerpoints that went on in my class kind of fell in line with uh, one of the videos that i watched so it just made it so much easier for me to understand the concepts and it was like i was getting double the lecture because i was i will listen to it in class and i'll come back home watch the videos on youtube and it will just could help me connect everything and i'm like the type i'm not really i don't consider myself like the brightest person in the room but However, with repetition, I can understand things just like that. It doesn't come to me fast, but once I do it over and over and over and over again, I can then understand. That really helped me, and I would definitely recommend that you guys pay attention to videos. So yeah, I'm down to my last and final point, which is point number five is to take notes. I know sometimes in class we all may like slack off sometimes, zone out, in and out. Once again, that's where it goes back to the recording, that if you can record the um, lecture, once you go back, you can rewrite everything you need to write and take good notes. Um, I'm going to also link down a, someone who I follow on Instagram, Study Girl BSN. I think that's her Instagram name. I'm going to link it down in the description box. She takes such amazing notes. Like, I literally try to, like, 
mimic her note style like her strategy of how she takes notes as far as like charting she does a lot of charts a whole bunch of different things so there's like a variety of stuff you can literally look on Pinterest Instagram blogs all types of things to find ways that you could take good effective notes because note taking is very very important like because literally you can write down something and you probably think oh I'm not gonna remember this or I'm just doing this to make time go by but while you're writing it like it's like kind of leaving an imprint on your brain so that's very important so yeah those are definitely like my five tips I will say that worked for me like I literally forced myself to do those things each and every day I mean there were days where I didn't do those things but that's perfectly fine as long as you try to stay in the habit of being consistent with whatever you're doing and also do review questions I don't know if different programs have different requirements as far as using like Elsevier website with like adaptive quizzing if you guys don't know what I'm talking about then that's fine but if you do know what I'm talking about with um, adaptive quizzing those things are so important try to do those at least every day like try to do a couple of questions every day because it helps you so much with your test taking strategies and with selecting the correct answer so yeah um that's basically it for this video I'm not gonna talk too long or I don't want it to be just extremely long so yeah if you made it this far thank you so so much for watching by the way guys I literally just discovered I met another friend who's also in my program her name is Andrea she's also a part of the YouTube community her channel is Road to Art and I'm gonna link it down below you guys should make sure to check out her channel as well she gives a lot of nursing tips and a whole bunch of stuff and we will be doing a collab soon so be on the lookout for that so yeah that's basically it for this video if you guys like this video and would like me to do more videos like these Go ahead and comment down what you would like me to do and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.